Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to set up Voice Meter and Reaper so that you can record multiple channels at the same time in Reaper. So this tutorial assumes a couple of things, the main one being that you already know what Voice Meter is and the basics of how it works and that you know the basics of Reaper. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on how to use either program just to get them set up so that they're working together to allow you to record multiple channels at the same time. This type of setup is great if you want to do a podcast with a remote host and you want to remove their audio later to place in their own local audio or if you just want to be able to mix your two different sources independently of each other. So let's get started in Voice Meter Banana. Now the important thing to note here is which of your inputs are on which channels. So for example, I need to remember that my main microphone is on hardware input 1 and that my second microphone, my headset, is on input 2, etc. The other thing you need to make sure is that at whichever virtual output bus you're going to be using in Reaper is set to composite. This is what allows you to separate those channels into independent tracks in Reaper. So now let's jump into the voice meter settings that make this all work together. You're going to go down to system settings and options. And down here where it says patch composite, this is what brings everything together. If you click on the title next to patch composite, you'll see that it switches from post fader to pre fader. Pre fader is your raw audio coming from all of your sources and post fader is whatever mix that you've set up in voice meter. I personally like to use post fader so that I can utilize some of the cool options in voice meter like mute, solo, etc. But that's entirely up to you. The important thing here is to set your different channels to your different inputs. So in one left is going to be the left channel of the first input, right, the right channel of the first input, input two left, the left channel of the second input, etc. So I generally like to set it to left since it's not a stereo recording. I'm going to be mixing everything down to mono anyway. And I also do that for my virtual inputs, which are input four and input five. These are going to be your two virtual inputs that you can select for Skype or Spotify or any other uh, virtual or software input that you want. So go through and set up your inputs. Again, I've set up left channel one, so my microphone, uh, input two, left channel, so my headset, uh, four, or channel three, or option three, I don't know what you want to call it, I'm just going to call it option three, I've set to my virtual input, um, so generally that will be Spotify or Skype, Skype if I'm recording a podcast, so you can set up to eight channels here. Now in Reaper, you're essentially done in voice meter, so let's jump over to Reaper. You go to Options, Preferences. Under Audio and Device, you want to select Audio System ASIO, and then you want to choose the Voice Meter Virtual ASIO. You can enable your inputs, so your first input being for most people one, and your last input, I choose eight, it doesn't really matter. This essentially just limits your options when you're setting up a track. You can also rename these inputs under audio and edit names map, but I'm just going to leave them to the default for now. So once you've done that, you can set OK. And now let's add a new track. So this is where remembering which of your inputs is on which channel is important. Because I know that I want to set up channel 1, which is my main mic in the first track. And you can see if we arm it, and it's not muted, we can see those meters moving there. And if I add another track, and I choose mono 2, that's going to be my headset. So let's unmute that and test that. Check, check, check. Whoa. Check, check, check. You can see the meters are moving, so I know I have a signal and so on. 
So I hope that tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Again, this is just a quick overview to get you started. Um, if you want to know more about VoiceMeter or Reaper, there are tons of great channels to learn more about each individual program.